Good morning, guys. How are we all doing? I am Dan from Trading with Dan. This is our Bitcoin morning update. So, if you guys wouldn't mind smashing that like button, we shall go straight over to those Bitcoin four hour charts. So, yes, Bitcoin on the four hour. Um, we are well, we um, bounced quite nicely off our support area. Um, obviously, we're below our resistance to the upside, and also uh, these recent highs we've got going on here. So, again, it is looking a lot like uh, we're turning into a bit of a, a bit of a sideways market, um, so we were basically waiting for either a breakdown below nineteen thousand five hundred, or we could probably say a break above twenty one thousand. Now would probably get us uh, up to up to that twenty two thousand dollar level. Um, so so yeah, what are the other markets looking like? Uh, DXY um, is easing off here. Did have a pretty uh, pretty nice bounce here, and Andy break this trend line. So what we are all hoping for. Is that we're not getting a forward check, a back check, and a pay check, and bouncing off onwards and upwards to new, uh, to new, uh, well, new highs in this move up. Um, we want to get back below this trend line, back towards this support level, and back below this support level, and then we could be looking like a pretty good, uh, good November for risk assets. But like I've said. Um, we've got obviously this horizontal support, this downward sloping trend line, which should now act as support. And we have got obviously um, the uh, the clear and present danger of a bounce onwards and upwards. We have got a bit of a problem here going in with oil as well. I mean, you can look at oil as an indication of uh, obviously uh, just the world economy uh, gonna do better. But I mean, I would uh, I would look at this as more of an issue if we are gonna break above. Um, this uh, resistance area and start to head towards the uh, deal with the triple figures is not it's not going to be ideal for an inflationary environment. Uh, Ten year um, not looking amazing here either. The DXY was probably looking a bit better, but this is uh, uh, this is still looking quite uh, like a bullish chart basically. So obviously if that continues upwards, just take out these highs goes towards five percent. I mean we are, we are, would also be in trouble. Uh, stock market is not looking too bad. If we extend this support area along, what has happened is um, we broke above this resistance. Um, we tried to break above the next resistance, couldn't spend much time above there, so came down, broke back through and tested uh, our support level so we have to hold this support we can trade sideways in this range as long as ultimately we break back above this resistance if we lose this support then uh well new lows new lows we were looking for new lows in towards that uh in towards that uh well 32 to 400 uh dollar level i think that's where we would uh We'll find ourselves. Obviously, we've got um, CPI and midterms, and so there are there are market mover market moving events uh, coming. Uh, Ethereum USD, um, we could probably join a down sloping trend line, which is now broken back broken back above, and then we have this horizontal resistance. So Ethereum will look particularly good if it gets back above basically 1600 and holds above there. Uh, could look good for another leg up. The Ethereum Satoshi pairing 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 similarly uh, trying to break above a down sloping trend line in this uh, short term, potentially a bull flag. That is a bull flag, and then to meet the bull flag target, I mean, we are going to be looking at basically this next level of resistance, which would be pretty impressive. It will be a pretty good move. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Um, not too much else I wanted to look at. Um, silver, I mean, it's just realistically been sideways. We tried, we broke above this channel, fell back into it, back above it. Um, I mean, this does look like a bottoming a bottoming formation so we could see a uh an accum obviously this being an accumulation accumulation and then a markup uh into into the the low 20s um but obviously we'll have to see see how see how risk assets generally go obviously ironically um gold and silver being correlated with risk assets as well because i guess it's just it is just a liquidity trade isn't it uh stochastics how are they looking four hour pointing up here Got all the all the field to run into, so that is uh, that is quite good. Uh, Twelve hour has obviously come down, so we could look at that as a reset, and now we then can get going back, going to the upside to give us that upward momentum. Um, daily did come down, but losing that down will come uh, uh, curve it. Uh, so could obviously uh, turn back up from here, give us upward momentum. By daily getting a bit extended, turning back down. However, three day looking amazing, five day looking good. Weekly, uh, weekly is looking good, especially if it takes out this high here and continues onwards and upwards. Weekly is good, um, and then bi weekly turning off from this low level is good, and all along with monthly going looking to turn it off from this low level. So, so stochastic wise, things are 
are looking good for ult the ultimate break uh, to be to the upside. So obviously if we fail, come back down, take that 19 and a half, and then we'll obviously trade lower at that point, um, that would uh, that would uh, affect these uh, these uh, medium medium and high term stochastics somewhat. So um, so yeah, kind of need to hold here. If we do, then um, yeah, I think the path of least resistance will be to the upside. So. Uh, yeah, that is it, guys. Remember, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Always do your own research, and I shall speak to you guys soon.